Do you know that sugar, once it was considered a spice and not a sweetener? Have you listened that sugar it was used as a medicine for many centuries? Well, in ancient times, sugar it was used as a medicine for many cultures around the world. Such is the case of England, where sugar was classified as a spice like ginger or cinnamon, and consequently used as a medicine to treat fever, cough, and other ailments. Hello everyone, my name is Manuel Hernandez, and today I want to speak to you about how the sugar is produced in El Salvador, our beloved country. Why? Because sugar is on the top for the Salvadorian economy. To know its production, its importance, it's important to us. Sugarcane is cultivated in our country since colonialist times when it was brought from Mexico. According to website of Comité in solidarity with the people of El Salvador, CISPES, the sugar has been among us since the 16th century. It has been grown in a familiar and artisanal way. And nowadays, it is cultivated in a large scale at the point that its culture and exportation means at least 5% of Salvadorian gross domestic product. Its impact for national economy is of course substantial. By other side, Diablo Chino affirms that production of cane sugar employs more than 200,000 200, people and generates 200 million of dollars every year. According, this, according to this website, the last 2020 were harvested over 7 million of tons of sugar. The sugar cane is a daily use product for the Salvadorian people, but Few people know how it is produced. The sugar cane is a capital importance product for the Salvadorian economy. When one travels across, across El Salvador, the sugar cane fields is a very common scenario. They cover big areas in the country. Here, on the field, the sugar begins its long travel to our coffee cup. In fact, the process of production of the sugar comprehends several stages. The first is to the sugar cane and the second is bring, bringing to the sugar cane to the mills. Next, the sugar cane is washed to clean the gross impurities. The third stage is shredding sugar cane to extract the precious juice. This stage requires to pass the, the cane through the iron rollers. These heavy machines press the cane to extract the juice. Next, the purifications comprehend clarifications and evaporations. The fuels is made in clarifiers of sugars, and the second is made in a centrifugal machine. The juice has a dark green coloration. 
also its aces and murky. The clarifications pursues that sugar could be separated from soluble and insoluble contaminant elements. The most common clarifier is now as a milk of lime. lime. Next, the evapor evaporation takes away the excess of water of the juice. For this step, the clarifier juice is put into a big can, the condenser. Next step is crystallization, which is made into a pen when sugar solution is evaporated in this stage, is obtaining the sugar crystal. It's time to dry and package the sugar or precious sweetener. The wet sugar is dried with, a he with heated air. With heated air, we have obtained sugar. This will package and settle to the commercialization. So, we have approached to this interesting process of production. The sugar is a daily use product for the Salvadorian people. It's important to us to know how it is produced. Because sugar cane, sugar is a capital importance product for our economy. These productions require several stages, harvest, washing, crushing and to extract the juice, purifications, evaporations, and crystallization. The appreciated sugar is ready to reach the final step of production. It's drying and packaging. If only we can imagine the long journey of the little sugar that accompanies our coffee cup. Thank you, everyone.